Okay guys, so update on the gas tank. We've still got a little leak, but we're thinking that it's actually uh, in a spot that we can't really weld. It looks like most of this is actually held. We're not, I'm just not sure exactly where the leak is coming from. So it is still leaking a little bit. I think at this point, the only way to fix it is to replace the darn thing. And in order to do that, we have to basically take the entire body off the tractor. So it might just be leaking for a little while. Um, the other problem that we've been having is with the choke on the tractor. This has an automatic choke, which is really kind of stupid, honestly. But as you can see, the choke spring no longer works. Now, I've got a cat right next to me. The choke spring no longer works. Whenever the throttle comes forward and pushes the automatic choke, it doesn't go back into position and then the motor revs up really bad. I'm going to see if I can find a spring or something that I can put on this choke somewhere that will pull it back into position. So I will be working on that and I will let you know what I, what I find. Okay guys, well I've got the choke open, but uh, it doesn't really move anymore. <laughs> I put a spring on here to hold it open. I tried to put the spring in a couple other spots to get this to work the way it was supposed to, but I just, I, I just couldn't get it to uh, actually fully open it again. I could get it to kind of sort of close. If you're wondering where that spring came from, it's amazing how many household items that, uh, yeah. So uh, I'm sure if I dug through the toolbox and the tool rooms and all the boxes of parts that I could probably find something that would work much better and actually have it um, function the way they originally intended it, which is kind of stupid with this automatic choke. I would rather have a manual choke on this. And we may convert it over to that because this is a 2007 and trust me, it's no longer under warranty. Whatever we decide to do, the dealership no longer cares. Anyhow, that's a, a temporary fix that you can do for a engine that with an automatic choke where the choke keeps getting stuck and the engine will rev up uh, really high. Oh, and just to show you guys, it may still be running a little bit high, but uh, I don't think it's anything like it was before. So, this is temporary until we can get a spring that'll fix that. Or, because I guess the spring that needs to be replaced is actually right there. And to do that, we gotta take all the hood and everything off. So maybe we can find some other way to rig this thing up and uh, have it work properly. Another thing I did, guys, was I backed lovely this morning um so we had an issue with the spring on the mower uh it was holding the choke open kind of a little too far it, it was almost kind of trying to turn the door a little bit 
uh, the wrong direction. We took that off and for right now, we just um, kind of manually set it where we wanted it, but but we're still having issues with it. So I was digging around the house and I found this. Okay, so I had looked around the house because I remembered buying a carb kit. What I didn't remember was that there was actually a carburetor included. So you can see this is the choke, spur choke right here. And that spring is brand new, works just fine. What's gonna happen is as soon as I finish the temporary building outside, the first thing that's going to go in is the little John Deere so that we can get the carburetor fixed, get this thing running properly again because we use that little tractor every single day. Uh, usually twice a day because we use it for feeding and then we norm, you know, we use it for hauling stuff around because we have a little cart on it. And we've got to have that tractor up and running and running properly. As soon as I get that building done, which you will see in a, another video, that John Deere is going to go in and we're going to put this new carburetor on it. So that should solve the problem with the choke. And I will do a video on that as well. So like, subscribe, hit the bell notification if you would please. Thank you guys and have a great day.